we're going to be doing the 9400 QCP Accessory Upgrade Kit. And this is what you can get from your dealer. Uh, MSRP is $149.99, which is what we're selling them for here at our shop. Which, by the way, I'm Amy of Amy's Quilting Adventures, www.amysquiltingadventures.com. So inside this box is a USB stick and a couple of feet and the all-important instructions. So it's a very straightforward install. I've already done it for a couple of customers. Uh, love that this accessory upgrade has come out because of course it means that you can have a ruler work mode on your machine. So I'm opening up, it's all packaged up in this nice little cushy foam. The very first step of course is to turn off the power on your machine. Definite, definite number one step. Got my little USB kit stick. And let's get to those instructions. I did notice in the instruction manual, it goes into what you're getting a little bit in detail before you ever get to the instruction for the actual update. Uh, so you wanna go back, let's see, we are starting on page five. And it's gonna tell me to check my system that's on my machine, my version that's on my machine. Uh, I did find this one little instruction a little bit confusing. It says, update your memory craft 9400 QCP if the current version of the system is 2.0 or earlier. So the way that you find that out is when you start up your machine, right down there in the corner, it shows the startup version. We kind of started up a little too fast there. Let's bring that back on. So this is version 1.0 down there in the corner. It's quick, you got to catch it. 1.0. It says, if the current version of the system is 2.0 or earlier, the update they are talking about is this update. So there's no need to go to the website and look for more updates for your machine. This is the update they're talking about. So I know with some of the other models, there have been various different updates. And I really love that about Janome, that they have updates for some of their older machines to just, maybe it's to fix an issue, maybe it's to give you a new and improved version, which is pretty stinking awesome instead of, you know, telling you, hey, buy a new machine. So just taking out my USB stick and my power is off now. And it says insert the USB flash drive from the upgrade kit into the USB port of your 9400 QCP. So USB stick, take the cover off sticking it in and it does say use whichever port of your choice however I've only seen one port on these machines so that's a little that could cause a little confusion but it's in there and let's see here next we are going to do a little tricky thing right now we're going to turn it on by pressing some different buttons than normal let me just get that kind of adjusted there. So we're going to hold the lock stitch button and the needle up down button at the same time. Lock stitch, needle up and down, and turn on the machine. And we're gonna hold those buttons until the screen turns yellow. There it's yellow, so I'm letting go. There it is. Now it's going to turn to a progress indicator. See this up here at the top? And it's doing its thing. That really is all you have to do. So gotta kill a little time while it does its little thing. So I'm going to show you some of the feet. So while this is updating, you don't wanna turn it off. You don't wanna mess around with it. You don't wanna remove your USB. You just wanna let it do its little thing here. So I've got my little packets of feet and you know I love the ruler foot so I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So I'm going to start with the other feet. 
So we've got a hopping foot, a free motion quilting or darning foot with an open area here. Yeah, you know, I don't use a lot of the hopping feet very often in my work, but the one strength that these hopping feet have is getting over those thick seams. So I know a lot of people have asked, how do I get over thick seams when I'm doing ruler work? Well, if you've got a lot of thick seams, maybe it's time to look at a hopping foot for that particular project. But there's lots of ways to adjust that ruler foot as well. So don't feel like you've got to go backwards to using that hopping foot, but they all have their strengths. So right tool for the job, right? So let me get out this other guy because this one is also for free motion. This, look at this teeny tiny thing. This is a free motion zigzag foot. Look how open it is here. This thing is hooks right onto your snap-on shank, just like your little ones. Look, look at my progress over here. We're going some more, changes through some colors. So this is for doing zigzag free motion. I think this is gonna be absolutely fabulous for those thread painters out there. Incredible visibility. Keep your fingers away from the needle, folks. But fabulous little foot. I think it's awesome. Look, we're making more progress. Next foot is a piecing foot. So this is a quarter inch piecing foot without the guide. So it's the O without the guide, little metal foot. Great for doing those half square triangles when you don't want that guide in the way. Look, we're done, finished. All right, so our update is complete. So now I'm just gonna turn the power switch off. Now I'm gonna remove my USB stick. USB stick. So just put that aside. And now I can turn the power back on and I want you guys to look right here. I know it's a little ways away, but try to look right there. When I start it up, it's gonna show us a new version number. Version 2.10. So we are fully updated. And for any of you who are unfamiliar with filming computerized sewing machines with screens on them, this doesn't flicker in real life. It's something to do with the camera. So we've got the new version. And there is my ruler foot. Love this thing. We'll talk about that in just a minute. There's one more step on here. So now it says press the set mode key and reset all to default. This is your set mode. So some of you, if you've got a bunch of settings changed on your machine, uh, you may wanna kinda go through those and make some notes. This is a brand new machine, so I don't have anything to update or save. We're gonna reset all to defaults and say yes. And then we're gonna hit okay. Now, here's the proof in the pudding. We're gonna go to this applications button, push that, go to the next page, quilting. So you got your patchwork, you got your quilting. All right, and right here, free quilting. There's your free quilting. That's not what we want. What we want back is to go to another page so if you notice right up here it says one of two and now you've got ruler work so if you had the 94 before and you were using this this adds a whole new page so you got to look for that second page to find your ruler work push on that it says lower the feed dog which we're gonna do I'm not gonna quilt in this video I want to keep it kind of short but trust me, we're gonna do some more videos and show off the ruler work. So there's our ruler work foot. You take off your snap-on foot shank, attach your foot right here. Look at this, it's got a nice cutout for visibility here in the front. No bulkiness to the foot, smooth, polished, rounded edges, so it's gonna glide over your quilt fabulously. And I'm going to end this video 
we'll get started with another one. Look for another video on actually turning on the ruler work mode, setting it up, and stitching. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Amy from Amy's Quilting Adventures, also the owner of So Simple of Lynchburg, a Janome dealership in Lynchburg, Virginia. Bye-bye.